and my ex-boyfriend is dating my best friend. Uh, you must be surprised. You must, you must be surprised. Mm, okay. You can say you must be surprised, but if it's your best friend, I think, I think you must be Annoyed. Annoyed? Or you must be hurt because he's your best friend. You feel hurt, right? Yes. Yeah, it's I mean, bad. I mean if, if, if he or she is dating another person, it's okay. But imagine if it's your best friend, that must be hurt. <laughs> yes. It's so you good. must be hurt, yes. All right, you guys, very good. So, uh, okay, now. In number two, we have a conversation, okay, between um, a Walt and Rack, yeah? So complete the conversations with you see or I see, okay? Yes, you see and I see or leave a blank where neither one is separately, okay? Yes, so there is, there is one that is, that is, you know, that is, uh, uh, it's not, should be should should not be there in the line okay only one so look at the conversation yes uh okay uh walt and rack so david please can you take walt park and and andrea rack park come on hi rack i'm sorry i'm late i didn't hear my alarm you see I was working on my report until about 3.30 this morning. Okay. Oh. I, I see. So, let's see. Will be... Will it be ready for for the marriage with the bus? Yes, I just have to make some copies. What time is the meeting? Continue, Andrea. Okay. Well, it was at 11, but both told me about half an hour ago. And it's now at 2.30. She's marrying someone for lunch. You see, and he has to leave Oh, I see. So I guess I didn't have to rush. Well, at least it's all done now. And you can relax. All right. Excellent, you guys. Very good. Yes. So, <clears throat> so remember that you use, you see, okay to explain something right and i see when you show you understand the situation okay mm -hmm. so good job you guys now let's go to the other part okay um it says an author in paris complete the conversation with expressions in the box use each expression twice okay and we have a long conversation okay so go ahead please go ahead uh um, let me check more okay so marquito you are a aki a omar and diana you are akina okay come on okay. 
Hey Omar, I hear you going away for a while. Where's two? Yeah, living for for next week. Wow, you must be excited. I am before you see I'm going to lose some research for my next book that always depends on the uh, part the research. I bet that must be fun. So what do you do about it? I love this. I love history, of course. I see. Um, can you share any details yet? Okay. Uh, I guess. Mm, let's see. It's about a young girl who got to visit a pet in Paris and um, well you know she met a mysterious young man they fall in love and lots of things happen really what happen. kind of things well i don't want to see yet you see i want to keep the details uh, I understand, but gosh, that must be hard. I can never keep secret. I know what you. I know what you mean. It's difficult sometimes. So tell me what else you're doing in Paris. I'm going to read. From my last job, well, at an English language book story. Great, you must be crazy about that. Would you be nervous? No, not really. I've done it several times. It's part of the job of the I see. And have a wonderful trip. Good luck with your research. Thanks. Thanks. I will tell you all about it when I get back. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good job with your answers, you guys. Very good. Uh, the only thing is that. Um, uh, your connection is not good enough, uh, Marquitos. What what happened? Uh, you can um, hear me well. I mean, yes, we hear you, but I hear you like you know, cut. Yes. It's too. Yeah, uh, Andrea. Yes, Andrea? Yes. Uh, you don't sound cut. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, you don't you don't sound cut. <laughs> I I don't know what happened, but anyways, anyway, mm -hmm. let's continue you guys, okay? So, all right. Uh, let's move on, you guys, uh, to the book. Oh, yeah, the 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 program is telling me that your 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 network connection, Marquitos, is low. Okay. Are you in the same place, uh, Andrea? Are you in the same place? Um. No. 
¿Eh? No. Where are you? In your room? Ah, uh, maybe that's that's the that's the, the problem. You are in another place. Because usually, usually you don't have these problems. Make sure, make sure that you find the right place, okay? The right place because you don't have these problems. I mean, it's the first time actually. Yes. So, all right. Anyways, you guys. So let's move on to the uh, to the book, okay? Let's move on to the book, you guys. And it says um, reactions and opinions, okay? So let's look at the look at the the book, you guys. All right. So we have lesson D, and in lesson D we're gonna talk about reactions and opinions, okay? Yeah. So, remember that in this unit, you guys, we have been talking about uh, um, impressions, okay? Yes. And, and we have been speculating about, you know, different things, okay? About different things, about different situations. We have speculated about, you know, pictures, topics, you know, and things like that, okay? Yes. Now. Uh, in lesson D, we have reactions and opinions, yes? And uh, we have, um, uh, we, we may speculate about people, all right? Sometimes without, without knowing or without, you know, meeting this person before, yeah? And, and, and we don't know, and we don't know this person, and sometimes this person has abilities, okay? Yes, abilities that we don't have or that we don't know, all right? So, so the topic is reactions and opinion, right? The, the, the name of the lesson, yeah? Now, uh, so the person, guys, look at the person in the picture, okay? There's a guy, do you see him? Yes. Yes, uh -huh. right, excellent. So the person in the picture, guys, is a teen hero, okay? You remember that teen is the same for adolescent, okay? It's a teen hero, all right? So, um, so do you know, guys, do you know personally uh, any people who think, uh, who you think are heroes because of what they do when they help others? So do you know this type of people who help others? Maybe they, they give money to charity. Maybe they help a person in particular, okay? Do, do you know these people? Or do you know anyone? Uh, yeah, uh, David? I don't know. Not really, okay. Diana? No. Okay, Marquito and Andrea, do you know anyone? No. No, okay. So, all right. Well, look, um, I have a, he's not my friend, but he's a friend of, uh, she's my wife's friend, okay? And she has, a, she has a, like this, type of, uh, like this type of, um, let's say, uh, he has a big, let's say, a big place, okay? A big place here in Acapulco where he keeps dogs, but dogs that are usually, you know, on the street, yes? Oh. Remember that, that there are dogs on the street that they are run over by cars, or, you know, dogs that are uh, in, re in really bad conditions, yes? Yes, I know, for this thing. Okay, so, um, uh, so this lady, this lady, he, ha he made like a, like a community, yes? Where, where she, she receives 
all the dogs that you can, you know, uh, that, that you can take because they are usually dogs that are on the street. They have, you know, disabilities. Sometimes they, they lose one leg, okay? Yes, you know, and, and she receives these dogs, gives them food, take care of them, take them to the, to the bed, okay? Yes, to the veterinarian, okay? Uh, and, uh, and things like that, okay? Yes, for me, for me, she's a hero, okay? Because she takes care of, you know, this, uh, that, uh, these, um, uh, these animals, uh, these, you know, I would be not animals, but they are lovely. I have one, okay? And, and they, I mean, dogs, I mean, they show, you know, deep feelings for you, okay? So, all right. So this is, you know, about reactions and opinions about, about it, okay? Yeah? Now, guys, um, think about, hey, think about volunteer. Yes, because most of the people, hey, most of the people, they do their work and they don't receive any money. For example, like this lady, she doesn't receive any money from the government. All of them are donations, okay? Yes, they are donations. And she buys the food, she buys, you know, a lot of medical things for the, for the dogs, okay? And, and that's, a, that's kind of a volunteer work, yes or no, you guys? Yes, right? So, uh, okay, now guys, what other people, or, or David, tell me please, what are some things that people can, can volunteer to do in their community? Come on, think, uh, think about one activity. Okay. And, and Diana, you too, think about it, please. Uh-huh, David? I remember uh, persons in my church community that, that help the Cristo de la Misericordia. Oh, yes, which is a place, right? It's, it's a place for uh, mental illness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that... that people help about uh, clothes uh, uh -huh. canasta básica what to say the basic supplies basic the, food supplies uh, yeah the basic food supplies and clothes okay mm -hmm. very good yes okay excellent Diana what about you It's the same for Mr. Tate. Sorry? I think the same for Mr. Tate. Uh huh. Uh, the same for what? The, the Cristo de la Misericordia? Have no. you? No. No. For basic food supplies. Ah, okay. But who? But I mean, you? Did you no. give me the food? Or what? No. For example, all of these. I see one video from one YouTuber in this pandemic and share basic food supplies for 100 family. Okay. Okay, very good. Yes. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. So, you can have, you know, uh, for example, what David says, a mental rehab facility or a place. Uh, uh, yeah, share basic food supply for, for, you know, people in need. Or maybe you can volunteer for an animal shelter, okay? Yes, which is my, my wife's friend thus, okay? Okay. Right? Now, okay. 
So, all right, guys. So there are a lot of things you, you can volunteer on, okay? Yes. So, uh, okay. Uh, look, at the, look at the article, you guys. Look at the article. All right, look at letter B. Yes. Uh, and look at the instruction. It says, read the article. What does Marcus try to do with his program? The, program, the name of the program is Just Say No. Okay, just say no, yeah. All right, now, um, for example, uh, the, there is a program in the United States that is called Just Say No, okay, yes? Just say no. Now, in this, as you can see, these expressions are the same, okay? Now, the the word no in this case okay is the same pronunciation as this right yes so this is a, a program it's a it's a, a it's a program against drugs okay so when when young people they are offered drugs you you have to say just say no all right so in this case it's a similar way to say no, but, but that you know that if you consume drugs or have drugs, you will have, you know, a, a, you, you, will, you will, you know, die or have, you know, bad effects, all right? So yeah. that, that's the name of the program, just say no, yes? So guys, uh, uh, okay, now, so what type of program do you think Michael is doing here? Okay, yes. For example, when you talk about drugs, it's not only about giving a conference about drugs. No, it's about what? What do you think Marcus, I mean this guy in the picture, okay, uh, does in the, in the program? For example, what what? do you think he's doing in the program? Uh, Diana. What do you think Marcos uh, do? Uh, what do you think Marcos does in the program? He gives what? Or he teaches what? He gives for the person I'm sorry? Nothing. Uh huh. So, uh, what, what about you, David? What do you think Marcus, Marcus does in the program? I think Marcos here. I can read he coaches kids okay. off the field. All right. Yeah, he coaches. Yeah, he gives advice. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Advice, recommendations, okay, to kids. Right? Yeah, okay. so so it's like it's like not a you know a drug program. It's an educational program. Okay, yes. Okay, okay. now so guys, uh, all right. Look at the article. Yes, look at the article here, and uh, I want you to go over the article. Okay, come on, and I want you to uh, first. Look at the look at the the numbers, okay? Some words have numbers, okay? For example, look, season. In the third, in the fourth part, in the fourth line, we have the number one, season. It says, a 19-year-old Marcus Huston worked the audience like a like a seasoned motivational speaker. So season means what? Experience. 
experience, like an experienced speaker, okay? So, okay, I will give you a few minutes to go, to go over the reading, okay? And I would like you to respond this question. What does Marcos try to do with his program? Just say no, okay? So the David says he coaches, okay, kids, right? And things like that. So now read, and at the end, let's respond that question, okay? Come on, you guys, go ahead.
Okay, you guys, let's go back. All right. So in your opinion now, uh, having read the article, um, where is it? Here. Okay. So uh, what does Marcus try to do with his program? Or can you give me any examples about his programs? Come on. Uh, yes, Diana. Hey. One example is he went to middle schools where he showed the football highlights video to capture the kids' imaginations and then talked to them about the importance of became responsibility and doing well in school. All right, excellent, very good. So basically, yes, help young students to yes. be uh, the middle school. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, young students. I refer to young students. Yes. To be responsible and do well in the school. Excellent. That's what's actually the, what the program is. Okay. Um, all right. Now, <clears throat> so you guys, basically, that's what the program is. Okay. Now, to, uh, uh, you know, help students to be responsible and do well in the school. Okay. Now, guys. Look at the look at letter C and it says find the underlying expressions in the article and match them with the definitions. For example, look at number one. Number one, Marcus worked the audience. Okay, Marcus worked the audience. So which one do you guys think it is? Um A I C Marcus has to work at the audience. Like a season. Exactly, like a season motivational speaker. So that's in the first paragraph. So so when when they say work the audience means that what? What expression on the right do you think is the most appropriate? Um got the group attention. Exactly, got the group's attention. So that would be letter B. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to give you some time for you to read the rest, okay? All right, and match, match the others, okay? Come on, you guys, let's go. Slouch, slouch. Slouch, 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 
slouch, slouch, slouch, slouch. Okay, did you guys finished? Marquitos, Andrea, you finished? Sorry? Yeah, no, not yet. Not yet, okay. Just uh, uh, one more minute, okay? Come on. Okay. All right, Andrea, please read number two. Come on. Slouched. 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 At their day, not sitting up straight. Exactly, very good. Good job. Thank you. Marquito, please. Okay. Marcus uh, used his credibility as a star at, at athlete. Athlete. At, athlete. Mm -hmm. The respect people have for him. Exactly. Very good. The respect. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, David, please, number four. Your microphone, wait. There you go. Number four, players who failed classes lost their eligibility. Letter B, were not allowed to play anymore. Exactly. Yes, that's a little bit. Thank you. And, uh, Diana, five. Yes. Marcus was looking for an adventure of action. And an avenue. An avenue of action, a way to make a difference. Exactly. Thank you. And Andrea, please, the last one. Okay. Marcus hoped to take his program national a way to make a difference. No, that's that's number five. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mark, oh, okay. Marcus hoped to take his program national So that would be letter? Create a national organization. Exactly, yeah. To take, to take a program national, that means to create an organization, a national organization, okay? okay. So, good job, you guys, okay? Uh, all right, look, 
in the next part, we have the listening and the speaking, yeah? People making a difference, okay? People making a difference. So, uh, let's look at the, um, where is it? Uh, here. So let's look at the instruction, okay? Look at the instruction, you guys. Uh, yeah, uh, Marcos, can you, Marcos, sorry, David, can you read the instruction, please? Listen to the conversations, match the people and the organization they work with, write A, B, or C next to their names. Lesson. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Page 109, uh, three, grammar, modal verbs for speculating. She must be a genius. She must, page 120, lesson B, natural disasters. One, building vocabulary and grammar. A, listen, page 119. Two, page 115, lesson D. Reactions and opinions. Two, listening and speaking. People making a difference. A, listen to the conversations. Match the people and the organizations they work with. Right. It's okay, can you listen, A, guys? Yeah. B or C yeah. next to their names. Okay. So, only write A, B or C, okay? Only that. And in letter B, we do the lines. Come on. One. I'm reading this cool article about a young woman named Janine LeCare. Really? What about her? When she was nine years old, Janine and a friend founded an organization that protects the rainforest in Costa Rica. Wow, that's amazing. Her parents must be really proud. Yeah. Actually, her mother helped her found the organization. It's called Kids Saving the Rainforest. Huh. So what does the organization do? Well, volunteers work on different projects. For example, they plant trees and help animals. I see. That must be fascinating. Yeah. They have a website where you can learn more about Kids Saving the Rainforest. Cool. I'll have to check it out. Two. I saw an incredible documentary on TV about Arnshorn Pond. Oh, yeah? So who's uh, Arn... Uh, what's his name? Arnshorn Pond. He's an amazing young man from Cambodia. He and some friends founded the Cambodian Master Performers Program. Really? What's that? It's an organization that helps Cambodian singers and musicians. That must be interesting. How does it help them? The program gives money and musical instruments to the singers and musicians so they can teach young students. The program also makes recordings of the performers and it organizes concerts. I see. That must be great. Yeah. Arn's program is helping young people in Cambodia learn about their musical traditions. Three. I just read this really interesting story on the internet. It's about a young woman from Kosovo named Ardina Gojani. Oh, so what did she do? Well, when she was 11 years old, Ardina and her family came to the United States. A year later, Ardina learned that there was a fire in the library she used to visit in Kosovo. I bet she felt terrible. Yeah, but then Ardina started collecting books to send to Kosovo. Some teachers and students at her school helped, too. They worked with the International Book Project. What's that? It's an organization that sends books to more than 100 countries around the world. Wow. So Ardina helped build a new library in Kosovo. She must feel pretty good. Yeah. All right, you guys. It's OK? For example, Hey. Can you repeat, please? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. So make sure, hey, make sure you, uh, you guys um, uh, here matched, okay? Match A, B, or C, 
yes? For example, kids saving the forest, which of the person does the project? Janice Liquer, Arcon Pond, or Andrea Gojani, okay? Listen one more time, here we go. Match the people and the organizations they work with. Write A, B, or C next to their names. One. I'm reading this cool article about a young woman named Janine LeCare. Really? What about her? When she was nine years old, Janine and a friend founded an organization that protects the rainforest in Costa Rica. Wow, that's amazing. Her parents must be really proud. Yeah. Actually, her mother helped her found the organization. It's called Kids Saving the Rainforest. Huh. So what does the organization do? Well, volunteers work on different projects. For example, they plant trees and help animals. I see. That must be fascinating. Yeah. They have a website where you can learn more about Kids Saving the Rainforest. Cool. I'll have to check it out. Two. I saw an incredible documentary on TV about Arnshorn Pond. Oh, yeah? So who's uh, Arn... Uh, what's his name? Arnshorn Pond. He's an amazing young man from Cambodia. He and some friends founded the Cambodian Master Performers Program. Really? What's that? It's an organization that helps Cambodian singers and musicians. That must be interesting. How does it help them? The program gives money and musical instruments to the singers and musicians, so they can teach young students. The program also makes recordings of the performers, and it organizes concerts. I see. That must be great. Yeah. Arn's program is helping young people in Cambodia learn about their musical traditions. Three. I just read this really interesting story on the internet. It's about a young woman from Kosovo named Ardina Gojani. Oh, so what did she do? Well, when she was 11 years old, Ardina and her family came to the United States. A year later, Ardina learned that there was a fire in the library she used to visit in Kosovo. I bet she felt terrible. Yeah, but then Ardina started collecting books to send to Kosovo. Some teachers and students at her school helped, too. They worked with the International Book Project. What's that? It's an organization that sends books to more than 100 countries around the world. Wow. So Ardina helped build a new library in Kosovo. She must feel pretty good. Yeah. All right. So you guys... So, for example, Janice, what program is she working for? Or she volunteers? Saving the Rainforest. Exactly, that's a letter. They're saving the Rainforest. Kids Saving the Rainforest, it's a letter. C. What about this guy, Arn Corn Pond? A. Letter? A. A, excellent. And Ardina Gujani, letter B. B. Very good. Okay. Now, did you listen what, what the program does, you guys? For example, the Cambodian Master Formers Program with our Sean Pond. Do, do you know what the, what the program is about? Um, to help a musician. Uh -huh. To help. Uh, musicians okay what about the others what did you listen about the the Cambodian master program you guys okay. uh -huh. mm. money aha uh -huh. okay yeah uh, the program uh, gives money and eh? eh, the organized uh -huh. gives money eh, eh, to eh, singers and 
And uh, Diana says, singers and musicians. And musicians, okay. Uh, to buy what? To buy instruments. 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 Mm -hmm. And organize what? Concerts. Exactly, and organize concerts. Very good. Excellent. That's the, what the program does. What about letter B? The International Book Project. Um, missing 100 countries staying at different books. Okay. Yes. So, uh, okay. So the, uh, they are a uh, the book the book project actually sends uh huh sends books to how many did you say one hundred one hundred countries okay. Let's say around the world, okay? Yes. Around the world. world. Uh -huh. It is building a library. Do you know the place? Kosovo. In Kosovo, very good. Kosovo. Yeah. Excellent, you guys. All right. All right, now what about the Kids Saving Rainforest? What is the program about? In a, in, a, in, a, in a rainforest program, what do you think the people do? Um, saving animals. Okay, yeah, they protect a, a, they protect uh, a first first they, it's a saving the rainforest so they protect the the rainforest right where did you did you listen where costa rica exactly in costa rica and and plant a what and plant um Trees and Diana says and help animals. Okay, that's what the Kids Saving the Rainforest program is all about. Okay, you guys, excellent. So, all right, so good job, you guys, on this. Okay. So now, guys, think about hey, now think about your community. Yes, think about your community. Think about Acapulco, or maybe think about your neighborhood to be more specific, okay? If you wanna talk about a project in Acapulco, it's okay. If you wanna, if you wanna talk about a project in your community, in your neighborhood, it's fine. Now, that's exercise C. Think of a volunteer program for your community. Who does it help? It's important, you guys, look. Who does it help, okay? And what does it do, okay? So uh, I want you to think of a program, come on. Think of a program in your community, all right? And, 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 and talk about it, okay? Talk about your program, all right? So uh, I'm going to give you a few minutes to think about a program, okay? and present your program to the class, okay? Yes, and at the end, we, we're gonna decide if the program is good for funding. I mean, giving money to the program, okay? Yes, now, now, if you don't know, if you don't know someone or an organization, well, you can think about a program, okay? Who is the program for, for poor children? for animals, for cleaning the beaches in Acapulco, for, you know, clean the streets, okay? 
for uh, uh, protecting the the animal life or animal sea life okay what does it do okay what does the program consist all right so i'm gonna give you a, a few minutes to to present okay to, to present your your project okay is to this our your... imaginary situation uh, well if you know if you know a real program you can talk about the program for example in acapulco there are programs that 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 some people clean clean the clean the beaches you know people get together and clean beaches clean clean the, the the area okay and it can be a real program if not you can think about one okay is but that okay I, uh -huh. yes i think about one for the beaches ah okay yeah think about one i'm gonna give you a few minutes for you to think about it okay and in mm -hmm. fact we're gonna work in groups okay so we're gonna go work in groups a uh, come up with one idea okay so for example uh, andrea uh, so andrea marquito think about one okay think about one you marquito you say one part about the program and andrea you say the other part and diana and david you also talk about it okay so come on okay. let's go to the to the breakout rooms all right and uh let's everybody everybody check okay here we go uh is the instruction clear you guys yeah yeah okay marquito andrea yes it's okay okay, okay. let's go everybody
All right, you guys. So let's get started. Um, Marquito and Andrea. Okay. Let's get started with you guys, okay? Come on. Talk to me about the program. The program is... The program... The program, the program is in all the world. The world... The world... The world. Um, I'm sorry, about what? Uh, they were hooked. Yes. Uh -huh, okay, continue. Okay, and it's about to clean the streets. Uh, ah, okay. And uh, clean the streets to make uh, the, the, the mud. Uh, yeah. uh, Bitly. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's what the program does. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, speak out loud, please. I can't hear you. Okay. Uh, in our neighborhood, clean the streets and the beaches. In the top. Okay, and it the the program is for the people that everybody can can help uh, to uh, can help us uh, can help um, to not through the okay for the people right yes for the people all right well i guess more or less what i understood is uh, yeah a program to clean the streets and also andrea said the uh, the beach okay uh all right more or less i got the idea uh-huh okay yes diana and david please come on Okay, we talk about the Juguetón program. Okay. That's good. You, you start, Diana. Organization. Buying a lot of toys, care to homeless kids, and kids who live in a extremely poverty. Mm -hmm. Okay, usually this program is allowed from Christmas to January 6th, actually. Okay, all right. All right, very good. Okay, so yeah, um, what any other information you want to add, Diana and David? We think with that program, um, that make a lot of kids uh, make them very happy in that days. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Excellent. Yeah, indeed. Right, indeed. They're really happy with that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you for your presenting your programs. Okay. Yes. 
I will fund both programs because uh, they are uh, topics that are relevant, okay? Relevant to, to, uh, to people, okay? And I will fund, I will give money to both programs if I were, if I had the money, right? <laughs> if I had the, yeah. Yeah, if I had the opportunity to do that, okay? Good job on that, okay? Try to think, a hey, try to think more. Uh, Information. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, when you, when you're speaking, in your speaking, try to give more, more examples, okay? Try to give oh, more okay. examples when you, when you talk about, when you talk about a subject, okay? Yes. Sometimes going straight to the point, I mean, it's good, but if you are just straight to the point, you don't give your idea, you know, your, your idea is not complete. Okay. Yes. So, uh, um, uh, okay. For example, in Marquitos, uh, a program, uh, you can, you could add information like like uh, um, the program is about cleaning on the streets, right? So uh, what we would do is is to make an organization or or the streets in my neighborhood, not in Acapulco, maybe for example, but only for my neighborhood, to organize with my neighbors and to organize every Sunday. Every Sunday we would clean, we would buy supplies, okay, okay, or two times a week, okay, yes. Try to give more explanations to that, okay? So, all right, guys, good job. Now, let's move on to the to the other part in the book, okay? And it says, a letter to the editor, all right? Writing. So, um, okay, wait a second, please. Okay, so, uh, guys, um, now, Look at the look at the 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 exercise A. It says here are two possible reactions to the article on page one hundred fourteen. Okay, so we have two reactions, two reactions about this article. Do you remember Marcus? Okay, a guy with a program for kids that he, you know, uh, uh, he coaches kids give motivational talks you know and he's and he's a very popular guy right he's a very popular person that, that's why that's why he has credibility because he's a star athlete okay now but here we have two reactions on this article it says which one do you agree and why all right now look at the first dear editor look at the first okay Diana, can you read it, please? Uh, the series? Yeah, can you read it? Dear editor. Yeah, the okay. first. Dear editor, it was exciting to read about a teen hero like Marcus Houston. It seems to me that many young people today are concentrated mainly with their own interests and careers. I believe all teenagers volunteer for programs like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, David, can you read the other, please? Okay. Dear editor, I was interested to read about just say, just say no. My impression is that many young people are really concerned about helping other people. In my opinion, the world can be such a bad place with kids like Marcus making a difference. Okay, very good. So guys, we have two, two reactions, different reactions, right? Look, yeah. in the first, what? The writer, what? Thinks that, that most young people, okay? They like concert mainly with their own interests and careers. Exactly, which means that, that Marcus only does because because he he uh because he wants to you know uh, because he's doing he's doing it because his personal benefit not not the not the not the other people not the other students okay so that's one one you know uh, one reaction now the second reaction it's about it's about you know 
eh, 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 when the writer thinks that young people are really concerned about helping. This is about now helping people, caring about the other. And the first is caring about myself, about my interest. So which one do you think, guys? What's your opinion? It's, are you more related to the first opinion or the second opinion? What do you think? I think it's more general the second opinion. Okay. Yes. Why? Why you guys? Yes. What do you think I so? Think. Okay. Okay. Because I think the second is more general because she say for health and it's the principal object for Marcus and in the in the fears it's not not mention okay all right i mean no is that is that that no is that in the first part that the first opinion obviously is not is not mentioned it's not mentioned in the in the article of marcus of course not but it's an opinion it's an opinion that that other people may have okay because we think i mean not everybody thinks the same way Yes. So, yes. so, uh, uh, okay. Yes. The article, if you, if we go back to the article, we would say, oh, Marcus is a, a good guy because he wants to help other people because he, he's using his credibility to give, to give advice and recommendations about everything. Okay. Yes. But other people may have different opinion. So, what about you, eh, eh, Marco and Andrea? Do you have the first opinion? Are you related to the first opinion or the second opinion? I, I think the second opinion. The second, okay. So everybody agrees that, in, that, that Marcus has a good, eh, eh, has, you know, uh, a positive attitude about helping others, right? Yeah. yeah. That's good, that's good, excellent, all right. So, and so guys, what we're gonna do, well, actually we're not gonna do it right now because time is, time is up, okay? But before we go, before we go, eh, I would like you to look, at the, to look at letter B. Usually re remember that in letter, in, eh, in the writing, we have to do a, a paragraph, okay? Or a piece of writing, okay? So in this case, we are going to write a letter a letter to the editor about Marcus and his program. Okay, that's one option. You can talk about Mark, you can write about Marcus and his program, or you can write about the work of another person you admire. Okay, yes. For example, if I were you, maybe I would write about the woman I told you, my wife's friend, that she has an animal shelter, okay? Yes, just an example, right? Maybe you know other people, or maybe an organization like, like you know, Teleton and things like that, right? Yes, so, and guys, I would like you to use these expressions in the help note, okay? Yes? So, uh, Marquito, can you read the expressions, please, in the help note? Okay. <clears throat> I was interested to read about just saying no, no, no. My impression is that many young people are really concerned about helping other people. In my opinion, the world can be, can't be such a bad place with kids like Marcus making difference. Um, yeah. Uh, ah, ah, no, I mean sorry. the help note, sorry. the help note. Yes, sorry. Impressions, reactions, and opinions. Impressions, reactions, and opinions. My impression is that it seems to me that I think, I believe, I feel In my opinion, view. In my opinion, in my view, okay, yes. So 
I would like you guys to use these expressions in your writing, okay? Yes? Uh, now, this writing, we are gonna do it, we're gonna do it uh, uh, as, a, as a homework, okay? Yes? We're gonna do it as a homework and think about, if you wanna do it about Marcus program, it's okay, no problem, okay? You have a lot of examples right now. And, um, and if you know someone else that you admire, go ahead and do it. Okay, yes. So this piece of writing, you are gonna send it to me again by WhatsApp, okay? So you're gonna send it to me by, by WhatsApp and, and please send it before one o'clock, before one, before 1 p.m., okay? Because uh, I, will be, I will be busy with other things, so please, I'm gonna ask you to send it before one, okay? Okay. Please, I would appreciate because I've been I have been doing other courses and 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 I need to check your writings, okay? Yeah. So, all right, you guys. Well, <clears throat> uh, okay. Now, uh, for homework, you have lesson D, all right? Eighty-eight yes. and eighty-nine. Exactly. Thank you, Diana. Eighty-eight and eighty-nine. Okay. So, all right, guys. Any questions? It's okay. Okay. It's okay. okay. All right. So, Diana, what did we practice today? Come on. Well, what did we read about today? What did we read about today? I read about... about the, a teen hero. Exactly, about people, right? About people who make a difference, right? Yes, people to help uh, in different things. A volunteer worker. Exactly. Yeah. Who do people who do, people who do volunteer work? Okay. Excellent, you guys. Okay. Now, very good. And we also talk about you know different programs that you mentioned. All right. Now, okay. So we're gonna stop here, guys. Okay. Uh, have a nice evening, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Hey. See you. See you guys. Take care. Bye bye, you guys. Bye. Take care. Bye.